Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Florida State quarterfinals of Rocket League between the number five ranked FCS Stars versus the number four ranked Bishop Kenny Crusader Esports. I think I got their seed right. Uh, difference between this set and the regular season sets is this will be a best of seven set as opposed to a best three out of five set. And uh, these two teams actually met earlier in the season and the Crusaders won that meeting between the Patriots and, uh, excuse me, the Stars and the Crusaders. And uh, we should be getting started soon here. This Crusader Esports team, I believe, have either played in a state final or even won the whole thing. But uh, suffice it to say that this Crusader Esports Rocket League program is a formidable foe. Whereas FCS have slowly but surely been climbing the ranks in uh, these Florida Rocket League state standings. Finishing with a number five in the state regular season record. And a shout out to Mr. Kaylee in attendance here in the media room to watch both our Smash and Rocket League matches in person. Both games going on at the same time, so folks feel free to open two windows, have the game side by side. The replays will also be available later. So just to confirm, the Stars are the number five seed. The Crusaders are the number four seed. The Stars beat Palm Beach Lakes Retro Rams 2, whereas Crusaders beat Apopka in their round of 16 matchups. And um, the winner of this game will face the winner between the, uh, I believe the reigning champ, FLVS Fury 1, and the Palm, Palm Beach Lakes Retro Rams 1. And uh, on the other side of the bracket, you've got Coral, Coral Reef, the Shoreline, another team that FCS met in the regular season, Indian Rocks Christian School, Doral, and Jupiter High School. FCS are coming off of a 4-1 victory over Retro Rams 2. Whereas the Crusaders are coming off a 4-0 victory over Apopka's varsity team in the round of 16.
Looks like in the chat we have both teams confirming that they are ready, so we should be getting started very soon here. have the three starters for the stars on deck here razor shark Foltz, and michael if you're just joining us for the first time this season and need a bit of an update on where the team is at uh, this team is led by their captain the stars team is led by the captain razor austin O'Connor, and uh, daniel calderon shark Foltz is a uh, his, uh, I guess you could say, a, a duo partner with him. Seemed to be a one-two punch on offense. And uh, Michael, the third man, Michael Ravello, has uh, really come a long way since he started in this program last year. But uh, look for combination play between Sharkvolt and Razor. This Bishop Kenny team is uh, no slouch for itself. Hot Copter. Natectonics, very capable players. And we are underway here with this best of seven set between the Stars and the Crusaders. Here comes Shark Bolts with an aerial ball. It's going to be a bit high above the goal. Hot Copter, very capable aerial player. Razor here, backpedaling toward his own goal. Hits it in the corner here to Shark Volts, who rotates back around again in goal. Razor with an important push away from goal to uh, stop the danger for the moment. Mako, Shark Volts one on one here. Shark Volts gets an important challenge. Now Razor hits it in the corner. Michael was looking for a deflection. As Razor gets demolished. Nade in the corner. Missed the cross opportunity. Shark Volts and Razor combine to clear. Razor with a collision at midfield. Now Shark Volts coming in high. But Nick Tectonics hits it low. And miss an open goal opportunity there. You think as the set goes on, a player of his quality will figure those out to punish FCS. Here comes Razor. Gonna challenge Nate at the near post. Now Shark Volts hits it back down. Razor trying to get a corner shot here to hit it for Michael for a flick. His flick is a bit high. Shark Volts with a calm touch. Michael going for some bumps here. Knocks Hawk Copter off of it. But Mako hits it toward goal. Forces a save. Easy one for Shark Volts in the end. Shark Volts now. Tried to clear it upfield. Michael rotated back after Mako intercepted Shark Volt's clearance. That was headed toward goal. So far, both teams are really doing a good job of covering themselves defensively. Not leaving any gaping openings. Still scoreless here. Two minutes in. Razor hits it towards goal and scores at the near post. Bounced it over the keeper that was in the net. Hawk Copter struggled to clear his line and actually set up a shot for Razor at the right of the box here. And Mako, I guess, had no boost. Just backflips, unable to keep it out. And Mako scuffs the kickoff, leaves it open for Shark Volts and ships it over Hawk Copter. And it's a quick two goal lead for the Stars. Looks like Razor is trying to figure something out here with his internet. He's connecting and disconnecting. It'll have to be... Oh, actually, Razor's back on the field. My mistake. Goal's open here for Mako. Shark Volts clears it. Hot Copter now. Hits it high and wide of the goal, but Razor clears it out. There's a booming clearance 
Wider than that, Hawk looking for a deflection. It was on goal. Easy save for Michael, though. Nate trying to leave it for Hawk. Shark Volts lobs it forward. FCS have a two goal lead to protect. And so far, things are looking good. This is going to be a generous wall bounce, or a roof bounce, rather. Michael now looking for just one more touch to put it in. And he was challenged there by Hawkcopter. But it's not cleared yet. Shark Volts overflies that one. Razor collides with Hawkcopter. Now Shark Volts by himself there in a two on one for the moment. Nate hits it off of the side wall. Gets a redirection down wide of the goal. And Razor clears it. Hawk now puts it. Bounces it into the six-yard box. Here comes Hawk. Puts it on goal. Razor not there in time. And now it's a one-goal lead. With just over one minute left. And let's see if the Stars can hang on or if the Crusaders can pull off this comeback after conceding two quick goals in the third minute of play. Mako messes up another kickoff, doesn't pay the price that time. Shark folds shallow clearance, Nate redirects it at the top of the box. Force both Razor and Michael to a commit to that challenge on Mako. Shark folds, puts the ball at the top of the box high though, hot copter. Deals with it. Michael with a key bump. Now Razor. Oh, his shot is wide of the goal. That would have been a dagger at this point. Michael with a good deflection there off of the wall. Mako clears it out. Nate puts it back in the corner. Here's Michael. He retreats off of it. Now Hawkcopter chips it up. Looked for one more hit on goal, but he was challenged there by Shark Volts. 20 seconds left for FCS to pull off this game one win. Razor trying to read the bounce off of the wall. He challenged there, Nate Tectonics, keeping the ball on the other side of the field for the Stars. So far, so good. Shark Fultz puts it above the goal. Now Razor coming in. Or it was Michael, rather. Oh, no, is this ball going in? Razor, oh, he got a touch. But Hawkcopter equalizes with just four seconds left. And it looks like we're going to overtime, folks, in this game one. The Stars blow a two-goal lead. A disappointing end to this regulation of game one. The Stars can still salvage this game. Let's see if they can get it together in terms of morale. Shark Fultz gets a nice win at midfield. Oh, Michael knocked Razor off of the ball. He would have put that in, I think. Here goes Hawkcopter keeping the ball in the air. Just driving straight down the middle of the field. Razor. Bounces this ball in front of the goal. Nate clears it. Shark Volts flies up for it. Oh, hits the post. FCS save there. Then Razor with a heroic save. Shark Volts pushes it forward. Nate hits Hot Copter off of the ball. And FCS just hanging on here. Razor with another heroic save. Hawkcopter on the ball, passes it back for Mako, had the layoff. Oh, Nate Tectonics comes in with a critical save there off of his own player's touch backwards. Razor was in reverse there, needed Michael to save him. And the Crusaders keeping the pressure on FCS here. Mako hits it in the corner, awkward moment for the Crusaders and the Stars capitalize. And they take a game one win. Mako here and his teammate Hawk couldn't figure it out. Mako hit it in the back of Hawkcopter's car and Razor says, thank you very much. Look at the performance there from Sharkvolt. So many touches on the ball, 801.
Razor as well. Two goals, one assist, two saves, two key saves in overtime there. And it looks like if the Stars are going to manage a win in this set, it's going to have to be relying upon star performances from Razor and Sharkfoltz. Good double shot opportunity there for the Crusaders. But uh, no goal there in the first 10 seconds of the match. Mako now puts this one on goal. Razor missed the aerial block. But Razor was there, the last man on the rotation. Michael now with the most convincing clearance. Razor and Shark team up for the save. Hawkopter, double tap opportunity, hits it off of the post, and it stays out somehow. Now Shark Volt's riding up the ball, looking for an aerial dribble of his own. Razor tried to just deflect Hawkopter off of his save. Now Michael by himself in the corner. And uh, delays the clearance from Nate. And the ball stuck in this in this side of the wall here on the blue end of the field of the Crusaders. Shark Volts gets a good bump there on Nate. Who was waiting for the cross in the middle. Mako now put his shot wide of the goal. And then Shark Volts clears it upfield. Hawkopter needed another touch there to prevent Shark Volts from getting a follow-up here. He has a chance to cross it. Oh, it goes across goal. Even passing the keeper at that in that situation, Mako, Nate Tectonics trying to get around the ball here to put it in. His shot's wide. Razor backing up into it. Slams into Michael in the process. That was desperate times call for desperate measures type of stuff right there. Now Shark Fultz needs to complete this defensive stop for the, the Stars. Sends it the other way. Michael going up for it. But uh, the Crusaders were higher up on that occasion. Hawkopter here had his shot on goal, but Sharkfoltz with a key deflection on that challenge. Oh no, Nate Tectonics with a rare mistake. The Hawkopter saves him, swinging around on the rotation as the ball was bouncing into the goal. Had he not stopped it, Sharkfoltz with a demolition at midfield. Then Razor bounces the ball back to him. Sharkfoltz is just going to rotate back around, and then Razor comes off of it too, leaves it for Michael to uh, play the first man there. Shark Volts deflects it back. Then Razor hits it forward. Mako now puts it on goal. Easy save for the Stars. Ball's bouncing in the middle there. After a pass from Michael off of the wall. Oh, a, key, a great demolition from Nate. And he scores on an open net. And it's the first lead that the Crusaders have had in this set so far. This is game two of a best of seven. And a little past the halfway point here, the Crusaders have a lead. Well, the Razor and Shark, a little confused there of who's gonna take ball. They managed to keep the ball out and deflect it away. This is bouncing toward goal. Nate pushes it just enough. Razor still got a touch on it. Sharkbolt here on the back line. Hits it wide of the goal. Now Mako on the attack. Can he pick up full boost? Oh, neither he nor Hawkopter got it. Must have been a call off. Now Michael going up the field. He's got a man behind him. Can he get this ball over Mako? In the end, it was an easy challenge for Mako to keep away. Comes Shark off the roof. It was too far ahead for Razor, a little too fast for him. Shark Volts comes back right after making a, a great attempt at a counter there to make a defensive play. Razor and Shark teaming up there for the clearance. Now Shark puts it on goal. Simple enough for Nate. Hawk launches it going to be just wide of the goal still forcing a commitment out of shark and the stars are going to need to get at least one goal here 
to have a chance in this game too. Michael overruns the ball a little bit. Still has a chance though. Rides it up the wall. Mako hits it off of the roof. That's the last touch he'll make of it. His teammate took over from there. Oh man, lots of whips on the ball right now. Nate hits it off right above the goal. Then Razor right on the spot. Has been so clutch defensively. This ball is bouncing right in front of the goal and Harkopter will punish the Stars. And I think that lead will be insurmountable at this point for the Stars. Unless they can manage some really miraculous Rocket League play here. 20 seconds left. Unless we see something extraordinary here, we're looking at a game, a game score of 1-1. Excuse me, set score of 1-1. So the Crusaders come back after an overtime loss to uh, win this game two in regulation 2-0 over the Stars. And uh, just not good enough of a performance there from Razor and Sharkvolt compared to their last game to uh, keep up with this, with this powerhouse Crusaders team. Let's see what we've got going in game two. Game three, excuse me. Michael pinches it for a cross. Goes all the way to the other side, though. Razor got just one last touch. It's right in front of goal. Sharkvolts couldn't get around it at the left post, though. FCS keeping the pressure on early in this game three. Razor puts it just across goal, and then Sharkvolts knocks it in. Great flick there from Razor. Unfortunate that it didn't go in in the first place, but Sharkvolt finishes the job. Another weird kickoff from Mako. Um, but man, did he make up for it with some powerful challenges there at midfield. This ball's bouncing. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, Michael wins out that time as he went high. And I guess the right way. Razor here puts this into the center. Shark and Michael couldn't put it on goal, though, as they both went up for that ball. I wonder if that was a miscommunication. Nate with a demolition, taking Razor out of the picture for the moment. Michael picks up full boost here. Just gets a touch on it, I guess, forcing both teams to, to back off a little bit. Razor pushes this to the left corner. Shark Volts gets beat out on that occasion. Michael had a chance to push it toward goal, but uh, whiffed as both of the Crusaders players whiffed as well. Razor backs up after taking full boost at midfield. Hawkopter now wants a double tap. He gets above it, hits it off of the crossbar, and then Razor, or excuse me, Shark Volts saves it and sends it back the other way. in the corner now Michael needing to come through and he does so Mako here taking a little bit of time Shark Foltz wants another touch off of the wall let's see what he does hits it back down though hot copter uh, ending what I guess Shark Foltz intended to be a moment of creativity there Razor shot that was wide of the goal anyway but uh, still the Crusaders scramble. Michael left it there wide open for Hawkopter. As I think Razor would have preferred to have that ball as he had a little more momentum going that way whereas Michael was driving toward his own goal. So we have a 1-1 game here, halfway through. 
One one in the game, one one in the set. Nixon, this next half. We'll uh, see who's in the driver's seat and it looks like the Crusaders are gonna be in the driver's seat. A little bit of a confused clearance there from FCS. I don't think anyone knew who was supposed to get ball in that, in that instance. And uh, the Crusaders came through aggressively to uh, pounce on the Stars' uncertainty. Oh, and Hot Cop just on fire right now. He's got a hat trick. So Razor put this into the corner, and then Hot Copter comes swooping down like a hawk on that ball. And uh, FCS, may I remind you, got out to a one goal lead in this game, a 1 0 lead. And uh, in a very quick succession here, the Crusaders have made it a 4 1 deficit, which is the biggest of this set so far. That was that, that was savage. Shark here had a great moment of individual skill from his own end, but Hawkopter had an easy save. Oh, Razor put that one up for 90, and Mako with a great defensive stop. He's been really reliable for the Crusaders in that role this game. Mako here looking for a bump on Hawk. He got the pass back to Nate, but he whipped on it, and then Mako put his ball um, just a little bit too far, high and wide. Here's Michael now. Coming down the field with the ball on his hood, flipped it over! Hawkopter was waiting, though, back in the goal. Shark Bulls with a save. Michael deflected Mako off of his path to knock that in. And it looks like the Stars are going to run out of time here. Those four quick goals they conceded proved to be just too much for them to overcome in this game three. But, uh, folks, you have to remember there's a best of seven set, not a best three out of five set. So the Crusaders will still not be on match point um, with a 2-1 set score. But that is going to be the set score after game three. The Crusaders lead 2-1, needing two more game wins to clean out this set. Here we go at game four. The Crusaders lead 2-1 over the Stars. Hawkopter almost did it all by himself there. Right at the beginning, and Nate Tectonics will finish it off. Just a little bit of contribution to an otherwise great individual effort from Hawk. And it's a early lead after 14 seconds that the Crusaders are ahead by one goal. Razor with a high self pass. Now Shark falls to knock it in. As Nate looked like he was stuck on the post there. Trying to get his car in the right positioning. And Shark capitalizes at the right time. So we're all square after a frantic opening to this game.
Balls in midfield now. Shark Fultz off the post and it's in! A midfield snipe from Shark Fultz after a sidewall pass from Razor. Impossible to save for the Crusaders. And the Stars have a lead after two really stylish goals. Oh, that ball hit the post and somehow stayed out. Here comes Hawk. This ball's on goal. Save for Razor. Shark Volts wins out on the follow-up chance. Mako now. His shot is wide. Shark Volts now. One more man to beat. Hawk Copter goes high. To a stop Shark from clearing the ball. Oh, no. It's a whip from Razor. Nate also whiffs. Oh. Two of the best players on each team with their own mistakes there. Here's our copter. One more shot. And Sharkfoltz with an epic two-on-one point-blank save. Oh, Shark with another good touch there. He's uh, Michael's waiting for what Hawk Copter's going to do with it. Oh, Michael had a chance to hit off of the corner and set up a cross. Here comes Shark Fultz. Gets the ball over the first line of defense. Razor now. Oh, his shot's on goal. Shark Fultz wants a deflection, but it's just going to roll through. And the Stars have a 3-1 lead. We're not even at the halfway point of this game. There's been so many twists and turns. Shark Fultz with a clearance off of his side wall. Michael deflects it there at midfield. Tried to pass it to uh, Razor there. Razor and Hawk, one on one now. Hawk wins out. Set up a pretty decent aerial chance. Mako now. Nice flick off of the wall. Left it for Hawk. He was too far uh, below the ball, though. Oh, man. That hit the post, and Michael, with a lucky deflection to keep it out, was in good position, though. Now Razor at midfield. Oh, this is so awkward for him. It's cleared out there by Michael. Michael wreaking havoc down there. One on three. Now Shark Fultz comes in. He just wants to push the ball forward. But then Razor slams into him. We're at 130. FCS with a two-goal lead. Can they hold on as they were not able to do in game one? In regulation, that is. They still managed the overtime win. Here's Razor hitting into the left corner. Hawkopter. Man, so calm in the air. So capable. Michael with a good challenge, and Razor comes through. Here comes Hawk, by himself, puts it toward goal, and it's over, Michael. And it's a one goal lead, a familiar situation for the Stars. And as I said earlier, can they do what they were not able to do in regulation of game one? Preserve their lead. Bit of confusion there for the Crusaders. Eventually they sort it out. Shark Volts left it for Razor. Hawk put it in front of goal and then Shark! His save bounces off of Michael and it ends up in the goal. With 40 seconds left. We are all tied. The Stars giving away another two goal lead. Setting up an epic finale of this game, this game four. Let's see if the Stars can pull something out of a hat here. 
Razor right there. His shot was headed upper 90, but Mako saved it. As I said, he's been really reliable as a defenseman. Here comes Shark. He wants to dribble across his own goal. I think Hawk reads that he wants to do that. And uh, challenges far up the field. Shark volts now. He passes it to Razor. The goal's open. And Hawk Copter. Easy save for him in the end. Into the corner. Now Hawk wants one last double tap before overtime. Here we go, folks. A game four overtime. The Stars are going to hope they're able to do what they did in game one. Win in overtime, and Razor does so. Went just five seconds in. And we're tied 2-2 in the set. Wow, back and forth stuff. I don't even know if the Stars won a game in their previous meeting against this team. And here we are, all tied. Minimum two games left, maximum three games left. Very little margin of error at this point for both teams. Here we go. Game five. Shark Volts already. Two seconds in. That's the earliest goal we've had in this set. After a powerful kickoff, just powers through and then hits it on an open net. Mako almost got the save, though. Props to him. Here's Hawk. Puts it on goal, but Shark wasn't far back enough. And here we go again with the frantic beginning to this set, or this game. Two goals in 12 seconds. Razor, oh, almost had the second hit off of the wall. Michael was backing up, waiting for his moment to hit the ball, and he did well there as he had someone approaching him. Shark folds his ball, will bounce to the left of the post. Hot copter needed to get a touch on the ball, or else I think Michael would have knocked that one in. Or Shark folds. Michael up the right flank. Nate Tetonic dribbling toward his own goal. Michael just waiting it out. I think he wanted to dribble around Mako. Wow, what a what a moment of mind games there between both teams. Hawk put a, a great cross from Nate on goal. Shark hits it high. Is it going to bounce in front of goal? Hawk stops it before it did. Michael and Nate challenge each other. Ball saving in the same place. Nate lands first. But then Sharkvolt sweeps it up. Hawk's shot is going to be above the goal. Forcing a save out of FCS that they're not able to make. And then Hawk will hit an easy rebound in. Both Michael and Shark needed to deal with this. Michael just not driving, putting his car in a, in a good position there to make a follow-up save. And now the Crusaders have the lead. Uh, just about two minutes into this game five. Michael demolishes Hawk, taking him off the ball, leaving Shark now to come toward goal. Hawk now with another aerial effort all by himself. And uh, Hawk really on his way to an MVP performance in this quarterfinals match. 
has had so many individual efforts. Many ending up in the goal, some very close to ending up in the goal, but man, has he been so lethal, so threatening against the Stars. Still 2-2 on the set score. As I think Shark and Razor have had their fair share of combination play to match the individual effort here from Hawk, but not that time. Look at where he starts, in his own goal box. So capable to take the ball all the way over and put it just below the crossbar. So, making it so hard to save. It's now a 4-1 lead that is, uh, that is tied for the biggest deficit, a three goal deficit in this set so far. It's been a wild set. The Stars won game one. Then the Crusaders won games two and three, taking a 2-1 score. Then uh, the Stars won again in overtime to take game four. But the Crusaders look like they're going to be, they're on their way to a, putting themselves on match point with a 3-2 lead. They'll need four game wins to win the set. But it's now 5-1. And uh, the Stars really just fell apart in this game five. At this point, I think both both sets of players are just trying to <laughs> preserve morale. Shark and Michael there. That might have been a frustrating play on the comms. <laughs> Michael with a nice bounce off of there. But uh, easy clearance for Hawk. Oh, great save from Razor just before getting demolished. Michael here with a decent aerial. Shark with a great challenge to keep the, the pressure on. Hawkopter now dribbling. Shark gets his car in the way, leaves it for Michael. He can score a tap in here. Consolation prize for FCS at this point. And the Crusaders now move to match point. Heading into this game six, 3-2 over the Stars right now. And uh, FCS will have to win two games unanswered to stay alive in this state bracket and advance to the semifinals. Uh, no matter how big the deficit was, it's still just a one-game lead that the Crusaders have. It could have been 50 million to zero. And it would still just be one-game win. Uh, so the fact of the matter is the Stars still have a chance. But they've uh, certainly made it harder for themselves. Wow, Razor with a goal line save.
Oh, Hawk with a clever flick. Michael was alert to it, though. Now he's coming downfield. Mako challenges him as he was, as uh, Michael was attempting to dribble around him. Razor here wanted to cross it to Shark. Oh, this ball's headed toward goal. Nate just throws Razor off of it. And it hit the crossbar and stayed out. Unreal. Oh, no. This ball's bouncing toward Crusaders' goal. Actually, uh, not, that, not that big a deal for them as they had uh, players in proper rotation. Here comes Hawk once again in the air. You hold your breath if you're a Stars fan when you see that man dribbling the ball in the air. Oh, Shark Volts, a little flat-footed here with Razor. And they clear their lines for the moment. Mako now leaves it for Shark, who retreated a bit off of the wall. Was throwing his car in all kinds of directions. Michael there, left it for Shark Volts, who chips it from midfield. Oh, Michael wanted to pinch that cross off of that corner. Oh, Shark with a great challenge. Look at Michael. Just backing up into it. Put his car in the way. Then Razor passes it to Shark in the corner. Doesn't put his shot on goal, though. Now Hawk coming through. Save from Michael. And then Nate punches it in. And just at the halfway point, the Crusaders have taken a go-ahead goal. And should this result hold, the Crusaders are moving on to the semifinals and the Stars will be eliminated. Uh oh, tough moment for the Stars on an unlucky deflection and Nate pounces again. Stars, in some games, have not struggled to score, but in their previous game, they really did struggle to score and keep the Crusaders out of out of their net. So uh, the Stars are really going to have to turn it around here in terms of how they're performing individually and as a team. Michael now coming forward. Oh, got one last touch here. Shark flicks it off of the wall. I think he wanted to flick it on to goal, but couldn't get the angle right. Now Nate coming through. Razor. Good patience there to wait for the hit. And uh, step on to make a save. Shark Volts now with another chance at the flick. He left it for Razor. Good call off there from Razor. And now it's a much more manageable comeback for the Stars. They'll need at least one goal in this last minute and four seconds to stay alive in the state bracket. Oh, no. Said Razor has left the game. I don't understand that. Oh, that's not true. Just left the party. Oh, what a save there from Shark. Michael, he's put it on goal. Where's the other team? And we're equal. What? How on earth did this happen? And we're all tied here in game six. FCS on the verge of pulling off a remarkable comeback. Could they just win it in regulation here with 40 seconds left?
Shark Volts. Is this on goal? Hawk saves it before we had to find out. Oh, this is going to bounce in a weird spot. Critical moment there from the Stars defensively. One last bounce. Oh, Shark hit it into Mako, who's in a good spot here. Michael here hits it across his goal. Then Shark hits it upfield. The Crusaders will need to make a save. One last stop here for the Stars to force overtime. Oh, the ball's still in the air. And it's going to hit ground. Here we go to overtime. The Stars need a golden goal to force a game seven in the quarterfinals. Top of the sidewall here. Razor. Oh, he wanted the, the flick there off of the sidewall. Sharkvolt doesn't quite clear it. Michael there. Shark had a chance to knock it in goal, but Hawk with a clever body on Sharkvolt's. Now the ball's in the corner. Hawk Copter coming up. He hit it over Michael. Or Shark Volts rather. Michael with a save. Needed to be so. It was on goal. Oh no. Shark and Michael bump into each other. Now Razor coming downfield. The Crusader player there was in reverse. Hawk Copter now by himself. Bounces it down. Razor's got to get a touch here. Now it's Michael. Oh, so awkward. But it stays out. Michael comes around it now. Trying to defend a hotcopter. Dribbling by himself over the crossbar. The stars stay alive for now. Shark Fultz hits it down to our goal. Mako saves it. Now Razor, he's going to ride up the wall. Does he have enough? It's off the side wall. Nate in the corner, challenged by Shark. Michael there, clears it out as Hawkopter was ready to hit it from that angle. Oh, and it bounces in! Mako, the last man, comes forward and bounces it over all of the stars. And that is where the road ends for the Stars. Crusaders win 4-2 in this quarterfinal. All things considered, it was a great season from the Stars. After not even making the playoffs in a year ago, in the fall 21 season, and in spring falling short as well, in the f in the spring 22 season to then move into number five in the state in rocket league it's been a great turnaround for the fcs stars in rocket league thank you folks for watching i've been jeffrey swindall uh, we will see you in spring 22 be sure to keep checking fcs media youtube for uh, our esports content and all our content but uh, anyway thank you guys for watching god bless you goodbye